Okay, we've made it to example five in the number theory. So we're on Bezier's identity. We've looked at the Euclidean algorithm. Check out example four if you haven't already done this. Uh, and we're going to try and solve uh, this particular equation. Uh, we're given this arrangement here, 585x plus 104y equals 13. Now, we know because it's Bezier's identity that 13 should be the greatest common divisor of 585 and 104. Even though we know that, we still actually have to run through the division algorithm lines to effectively show that it is because we need these different lengths to work out x and y. So the first thing we do is we are going to uh, run through the division algorithm. So 585 equals uh, a certain number of 104. Well, it's going to be 5. Lots of 104 is 520, plus 65 as our remainder. Remainder's not zero, everything shuffles left. And we're going to get one lot of 65 and a remainder of 39. Shuffle everything left, 65. There's only one lot of 39, plus a remainder of 26. 39 again is one lot of 26 plus 13, which means that 26 is two lots of 13 plus zero. We've got to the bottom, and there's our greatest common divisor, 13, which we kind of suspected because it was in the equation, uh, but it's good just to uh, confirm. So, uh, what we want to do is work our way back because we're trying to find the values of x and y to make that equation true. So we are going to work our way back by substituting in not the last uh, line, the last kind of division algorithm. We're going to start off with this one, and then we're going to go up to 2 and 3, and we're going to finally have to use this so that we end up with only the numbers 585, 104, and 13 in our equation. So if we take equation 1 and rearrange it, we've got 13 equals 39 minus 1 lot of 26. I quite like to keep all the 1s in. It doesn't seem like there's any point, but it kind of does help overall. So I'm rearranging equation 1 so that the remainder is effectively on the right-hand side. I, I don't have, uh, remember, I'm looking for those three target numbers. I don't have the target number, so I keep going. So I'm going to write 13 is equal to, well, what's it? equation 2 is going to give me 26. So I'm going to keep 39 there, and I'm going to substitute in for 26, which is just going to be 65 minus 1 lot of 39. Always multiply out and simplify before you take on the next equation. So if I simplify this, it's going to be 39 minus 1 lot of 65. And again, we've got negative 1 lot of negative 1, so it's going to be positive 1 lot of 39. I've already got 1 lot of 39 there, so I've got 2 lots of 39 minus 1 lot of 65. Okay, so we're as tidy as we can be, but I still don't have the three kind of target numbers. So let's look at the next uh, line up. We're going to look at equation uh Three, and this time we're going to be able to substitute in for 39. Uh, so where's 39s uh, in the uh, first of our numbers here? So here we go. 39. What is 39? Well, according to the top there, it's 104 minus one lot of 65. And remember, of course, we've still got subtract one lot of 65 in the original equation. So I've still got a little bit of tidying up to do from that. So 13 is 2 lots of 104 minus 2 lots of 65. Subtract 1 lot of 65, which is 2 lots of 104. Subtract 3 lots of 65. And I'm nearly there, because remember that my original equation contains 104 and 13, but it, which mine does here. Uh, but it doesn't have a 65 in it, so I need to go to the very top equation, number 4, and that's where I get to substitute my 65 
I get 65 is 585 minus 5 lots of 104. 65 is 585 minus 5 lots of 104. And yeah, I need to just simplify what I've got here. I've got 2 lots of 104, subtract 3 lots of 585, and then watch, we've got positive 15 lots of 104. Negative 3 times negative 5 is positive 15. So altogether, uh, it seems that we have 17 lots of 104 minus 3 lots of 585. And if you check it out in your calculator, you will find it in actual fact the difference is uh, 13. And what we've done is we've been asked to find, just check at the right at the top, 585 multiplied by 8. So x is the uh, multiplier of the 585. It's really important to get them the right way around. So we're stating here that x is actually negative 3 and y is positive 17. So be careful they get your x and y multipliers the right way around. Okay. So that is us uh, finding the greatest common divisor uh, as a, a linear combination, as is what it's called, a Bayes' identity. Okay, uh, I think there is, have we got another example? Uh, yeah, we do have, going back, we've just got a couple of practice things here, have a look and see. So I've got some practice ones, I'm not going to go through them all, I'm just going to pause it and I'm going to write up the answers, just the answers for uh, A and B and S and T and stuff. Uh, and if you get any issues, then hopefully you can work them out or uh, you can get in touch. Okay? Pause. Okay, there's the answers to these four practice questions, and hopefully uh, you've got them right and you understand this process. Okay? Good. So that's a Euclidean algorithm and Bayes' identity. We're going to have a look at how we can use a Euclidean algorithm in terms of number bases, working in other number bases. So that's going to be the next couple of examples. It's quite an interesting application. So go on and check out the other examples.